Hey, hi, hello, and welcome back to the channel, or if you are new here, welcome to the channel. My name is SJ. I'm an adult doll collector who just wants to talk about dolls. This is an adult channel meant for adult doll and toy collectors. Today, we are going to be taking a look at this. This box. Yep, it's a beautiful box. Just kidding. We're going to be taking a look at what is inside the box, so let's get into it. So Amazon shipped me this beautiful Mattel box. And as you can tell right here, it says Barbie doll. And then I was reading down here, it says, stop, do not open or put on shelf before June 1st, 2023. So usually Amazon does not send me my items in a Mattel box. They'll put the Mattel box in another box, but I guess this time they were like, no extra box for you. We're just gonna send you the Mattel box. But as you can tell from what the box says, it is a Barbie doll, but which one? Oh, it's wrapped. I can't get it out, okay. It. And as you can tell through the paper, it is a Barbie the movie doll. So let's get this wrapping paper off the wall as I knock my tripod over. Yep, back of the box. Bam! Beautiful. Oh, I was so excited for her. And she kept selling out and I finally got her when she was back in stock on Amazon. Unfortunately, this doll is like 50 bucks, but I've seen some reviews and, and I'm like torn on whether she's worth the $50 or not. So I'm noticing that the background in this box is the same as the previous Barbie the movie doll that I opened except this is sparkly. I don't remember my other box having a sparkly bee on it. And then, you know, the logo is still the same, Barbie the movie with a little star. And then the icons on the side of the box are still the same on both sides. And the back of the box is the same with Margot Robbie on the back who is playing Barbie in the live action movie. And it still says, greetings from Barbie land, wishing you the best day ever. If you are interested in this doll, there is the barcode. Um, I believe she is still available as of right now on Amazon. But let's go ahead and get her out of the box and see if she is worth the amount of money that I spent on her. Okay, she's out of the box and this one comes with a stand. Whereas the other one, the one in like the little plaid pink dress did not come with a stand but this one does it's just a white base with a clear back and clear clip and that's all the accessories that she comes with but here she is i love her i love her i love her outfit i love this doll um so face wise no pixelation none whatsoever her hair, this is what her hair looks like out of the box. Um, there is like product in it to keep the curls and I'm gonna have to find a way to like fix her hair without taking this hat off because if I were to take this hat off, I'm never gonna get it to lay right again. So I'll find a way to do it. But this hat, this is a fabric hat, fabric. Like it is not plastic. It is fabric with this adorable bow on the back. I just, I, I'm speechless. It has these adorable like little teardrop type pearl earrings in. They're so cute. And her jacket, it is, you know, the same pattern as the rest of her outfit, but again, it's fabric it's like this adorable little blazer and there are little buttons little buttons on the cuffs 
I love it. But as you can see, oh my God, I'm going to knock this tripod over. But as you can see, like the texture of like her jacket is different than the texture on her um, skirt and everything. And her fingernails are painted. Fingernails are painted pink. What? Underneath her little jacket blazer, she has this little sleeveless shirt on with this adorable little bow right here. Um, you can remove her jacket because this doll is basically layered. Oh I'm trying to be so careful with her. $50 doll. I mean, I've got to be as delicate as I possibly can because <laughs> that's like the most I have ever spent on a doll. Okay, so here is, oh, I'm going to take a half. There is the back of her shirt, and it is not held together by Velcro. It is held together by buttons. Oh, this is taking me back to my childhood with, like, um, the fashion. Oh, honey, your hat. With the Fashion Avenue fashion packs. Does anybody remember those? I had so many of those. And that those clothes in there were like such good quality. So her skirt is the same material as her top. Um, the top is just a little bit more silky, but the skirt has like little tool underneath to give it like this little poofed out effect. I love it. And this is also held in the back by buttons. And just like the other one that I reviewed, she also has on little white cotton panties. I, I just, I can't get over, like, the detail in this outfit and everything. Her shoes are not, like, that rubbery type of material. They're actually, like, a harder plastic, and the heel does not, like, bend in. But I am noticing the only thing is these shoes are almost, like, a little bit too big for her feet. The way they just kind of, like, dangle. But maybe if, like, she stands, even if she, like, stands, they're still a little too big for her feet. Now, she has the same articulation that the other doll that I reviewed has with articulation in the neck, the shoulder, the elbow, the wrist, the hip, and the knee. So, basically, like, Barbie extra articulation, and I'm okay with that because it is still a form of articulation, and she can sit so that's a win for with me. these dolls and seeing the quality of the fabric and everything i feel they are catering more towards an adult collector than they are like kids um i kind of hope like with the releases of the barbie movie dolls that we have seen i was informed that they are going to most likely be at target and possibly walmart that's great but I wonder if they're going to come out with like playline versions of Barbie the movie dolls. Because I don't see a parent spending $50 on this doll along with the other Ken doll and um, I think the President Barbie and I think the Western one. Those are all like $50. I don't see a parent spending that much on a Barbie doll. But then again, there are some parents who spend that much money on American Girl dolls, but that's a totally different doll line. Anyways, um, even the $24 uh, Barbie doll, her outfit was even still good quality and she was way cheaper than this one. But I just feel these are being more catered towards adult collectors than kids. I'm still torn on whether or not I think this doll is worth $50. It's like uh, a part of me can kind of see where it's worth that in all of the detail of the doll with the hat and the buttons and the nails being painted and basically you have like a three-piece outfit going on and just the quality. I can kind of see that and then a part of me like kind of can't see it because it's like okay 
she has less articulation than the Barbie Looks dolls in why is she worth $50? But at the same time, I can kind of see it because the quality in the clothes, stand, articulation, and the fact that this is like a movie doll. So I can, like, I'm still torn. I'm just, I'm torn. But I do love her and I am happy to have her in my collection. And just the quality of the clothes with the buttons and the tool and everything and instead of velcro closure there's the little snap on closure that takes me back to my childhood with the quality of clothes that we had back then with barbies and i feel like that's what mattel's preying on is they know that this is going to appeal to adult collectors with the quality of the clothes and everything because it's going to take them right back to their childhood i get it i see what you're doing mattel and you know what <laughs> it's working it's working really really well but let me know down below what you guys think of this doll do you have her do you plan on getting her do you see 50 dollars here let me know down below you guys know i love talking to you guys i do respond or heart your comments you know i i do talk to you guys so there's that all that good stuff like comment subscribe do your thing. And I hope to see you in the next one. Love you. Bye.